This is one of the largest and most important part in your entire syllabus. And you can trust me in this, in your whole GCE O-Level paper, you will encounter about 30% of your entire paper questions are from this topic alone. So it's very important to stay tuned, all right? Let's begin. Well, the first part of uh, organic I want to tell you is fractional distillation of crude oil. Now, first of all, many of you that's watching here, I know some of you here must be geography students, all right? Even if you're not geography students, I can assure you that you will know where can you find crude oil. Or I should ask you this question, where do you think crude oil comes from? Well, it's from under the sea, all right? So, now, fractional distillation of crude oil is a very important portion in the entire chemical engineering industry. Well, first of all, for places that can have crude oil that is found that, have, that was found in the in in the sea, you will notice that there will be great or a number of industry or factories set up for the refinery of crude oil. Now, crude oil is a mixture, so it is important to separate them, and that process is none other than fractional distillation. Okay, fractional distillation is a process used in oil refinery, and in that way, we are able to get all the different oil out from crude oil alone. That is why if any of you, next time you're, you are going to go into crude oil industry or any oil industry, it is a very lucrative trade, all right? So now, now you can see over here, this is the entire fractional distillation of crude oil. Now, many people say that, hey, Miss Selena, we have to remember them by heart. Okay, you cannot see this, so I'm going to hide this. Now, you're going to remember all of the different oil that come out by heart. So how do we remember it? Don't worry, I came out with a very interesting, so-called interesting way of acronym, all right? So I hope it works for you. If not, if you have other ways, please write to us. I would love to know it, okay? Now, first of all, it's called Real Princess Not Kiss Dirty Little Boys, okay? Let me repeat myself again, all right? Real Princess Not Kiss Dirty Little Boys. So, boys out there, make sure you're clean, huh? okay? I mean... Yeah, okay. Anyway, real here refers to refinery gas. Princess refers to petrol. Not naphthal. And kiss is your kerosene. Dirty diesel. Little is your lubricating oil. And boys is butamen. Now, how do I make sense out of this? Like I say, crude oil is a mixture. So to separate them, we need to go through this process called fractional distillation of crude oil. Now, those with the lowest boiling point will boil off first, which is my real and refinery gas. Now, I want to draw your attention to this refinery gas. In your exam, you will see three different kinds of name used. Sometimes they call them refinery gas, sometimes they call them LPG, in short, which is called liquefied petroleum gas. And sometimes they might even call this natural gas or methane, because a large composition of it is contained as methane. All right, so let's try the acronym again. Huh? Okay, real princess, not kiss dirty little boys. Okay, say that one more time. Real princess, not kiss dirty little boys. All right, so the boys here is butamen, which has the highest boiling point. So how do you remember it? Remember the acronym and relate to the words that is over here, okay? They are arranged according to the boiling point already. Now, some of you will be wondering, so why is it that they are arranged in such a manner, Miss Selena? Well, the one with the lowest boiling point has the smallest molecule. So, they have the lowest boiling point. Now, they are light in color and they are easily flammable. And they are low in viscosity. Now, some of you will look at this word and say, wow, this is a huge, very difficult English word. What is viscosity? Now, you can remember it as high viscosity as thick. Like honey, it's a little thick. Low viscosity is a little bit, you might think in your manner, like water is a little bit runny, but don't use that word, use viscosity, all right? You will see viscosity coming up a lot, a lot of times. So make sure you know it, all right? Now, 
how come this one here has the lowest boiling point? It's all due to the number of carbon. If you take a closer look, those that boil off first, they only have about one carbon to four. Those with the highest boiling point, if you look down, wow, the number of carbon what? Increases down, right? So which means that there are more carbon and hydrogen bonds to break. Therefore, this one over here going downwards because of the increase in carbon atoms, the boiling point increases, okay?